Picture with me a rocket being maneuvered to a launch pad so it can be readied for liftoff. Now visualize the ignition. Fuel in a controlled burn is converted into hot gas that spews out, providing the necessary thrust to propel the rocket into space. Finally, envision the payload, or cargo, that sits atop the rocket. The payload's worth is fully realized only when it gets where it needs to be and functions as it should. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to appreciate that an expensive global communication satellite is of little value sitting in a warehouse. The rocket's mission is simply to deliver a payload. I'd like to compare the priesthood that we hold to a rocket and the opportunity to benefit from the Savior's atoning power to the payload that a rocket delivers. For Heavenly Father's purposes to be accomplished, Christ's atoning power needs to be made available to God's children. The priesthood delivers these opportunities. It's the rocket. Minor defects in rockets can cause mission failure. Being casual or apathetic in a priesthood calling is like introducing material fatigue into a rocket component. Brittle seals and material fatigue can cause a rocket to malfunction. To guard the priesthood from metaphorically brittle seals and material fatigue, God protects both its conferral and use. Like the rocket whose purpose is to deliver a payload, the priesthood delivers the gospel of Jesus Christ, enabling all to make covenants and receive the associated ordinances. The atoning blood of Christ can thereby be applied in our lives as we experience the sanctifying influence of the Holy Ghost and receive the blessings God promises.